Quick note before we get started, I tested out a new color filter applied to this video. So if you see my face the normal color, I'm fine. But if you see it turn orange, it means I'm constipated. Got like a kink in my neck. I need a massage. Hello everyone, welcome back. I am here to remind you to temper your expectations for this video. My name is Matt, and tonight we're finally going to be jumping right back into Godzilla with Godzilla vs. Mothra, or Godzilla and Mothra, the battle for Earth, I guess, depending on the region. Uh, yeah. So, it's admittedly been a minute. I uh, took some time off. I went down on vacation with my family down in Florida. I had a wonderful time, and I want to go back. <laughs> I uh, also had some videos in between actually before my vacation and after my vacation i started recording batman the 60s movie and i was so tired that i had to stop midway through it then i recorded the batman the the recent one with uh with uh with uh god why am i blanking out his name robert Pattinson. and i got through the movie i really enjoyed it and i was editing it and i got so jaded <laughs> editing that movie and I, because I forgot it was a three hour movie and it's just, it's a slog. And I was editing it on my MacBook in the airport and I'm like, I really don't want to do this. And it was then that I realized that if I don't have the passion put into the type of content that I'm doing, just the projects I'm working on, I just don't feel like continuing. And I feel like it's unspent. I feel like that energy could be more positive and spent elsewhere. And I was looking forward to getting back into making videos because I was taking quite a bit of time off. And I wanted to do something fun, so I decided to do the Super Mario video. And I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It actually might be my favorite video I ever made, but it tanked hard. Then I started noticing something weird happen. I started noticing my subscriber count was kind of incrementally going up and my viewership was going up. And I'm like, I haven't put out anything substantial in over a month. What is going on? And I realized that my Shin Godzilla video has now got over 60,000 views. So thank you if you're a new subscriber. I feel obliged to continue with the Godzilla franchise and continue with the Hasai era and do um, Godzilla vs. Mothra. Sorry if that's not you. I donh know what the frick I'm doing. And I just want to say thank you for your for you alls patience. I know that a lot of y'all are Godzilla fans and y'all are what have propelled this channel to what it's become now. So, oh, by the way, thank you so much for the 2,000 subscribers. How would I forget about that? I do have a confetti cannon, but I, I got like a green screen set up here and I don't, I don't feel like vacuuming it up, so. Oh, shit! Oh, my! Thank you for your patience. We're going to get right back into it. Today's Godzilla. Next time is going to be King's Speech. Then I'm going to get back into Band of Brothers. Thank you all for your patience on that. And then I, I saw a comment earlier about when are you going to get a round to watching Rampage. And I honestly, sorry to you, I completely forgot about that movie. I will get back to that. That'll be the one after Band of Brothers, okay? So wait a few weeks. I'll have that reaction out for you. Just for you. And only you. Okay, don't tell anybody else. It's between us. If you're new here, welcome. I do reactions in... <laughs> if you're new here, welcome. I do reactions to TV shows and film. I can't. I can't. If you're new here, welcome. I do reactions to films, TV shows, and I guess games now, but I think that's a short-lived endeavor. But regardless, I do reactions to stuff online, and if that is your jam, please hit that like button down below. It helps the channel out a lot. Consider subscribing. You know, I'm not that bad of a guy. So sit back, have fun. Let's just jump right on into it. And here we... Okay, this is awkward. Here we go. All right, here we go. Films of my yeah, it's the original version, and it's a dub. Oh, so if this is distributed by TriStar, this is the American version? It's such an iconic, like, production logo. I'm surprised that it's not still a thing. Or maybe it is, I just don't know. 
So I have no expectations going into this film after the absurdity of the last film. And by the way, I got all y'all's comments about how wrong I was about how it is not the most absurd film in the Godzilla franchise. Sorry, I didn't watch the Showa era. Ooh, an asteroid. <laughs> yep, I'm still in the ocean. Godzilla and Mothra, the battle for Earth. Kind of looks like the, uh, the oxygen destroyer from the very first film. What is this? Unearthed like a giant egg? Was that from the asteroid that crashed? We're gonna start off on the archaeology dig. I dig it. Yeah. Zippo. Nice character reveal. Come on. Come on. Oh, we're getting an Indiana Jones style booby trap or something? Oh man, you better go. Whoa, that came crumbling down quick. Who knew it was a load bearing treasure? He's so intent. It's like, ugh. There we go, there are the booby traps. I just noticed the desktop audio was recording. Ooh. The audio should be better for you now. My apologies. Whoa, whoa! That's so cool! <laughs> it looked like it was so fun. He was like hung up on wires and he just had to climb. What's with the close up shot there? Did they run out of set? That was way higher than I was expecting. Well, I guess the determination to live. I could see the ripples of heat. It it looks so hot there. I brought someone. She's steady. She's a distinguished archaeologist, and she's single. Listen to Why her. Why does that have anything to Tabashi. do with... I'm not single. I've been divorced. Some tea? We plan to exploit the island. And lucky for them, yeah. they're a joint venture with the government. Did you say the quiet part out loud, so Mr. Maritomo? What? I know that's not his name. I know that's part of the company, but that's what I'm referring to him as as. As. Of course you can refuse, if you think that the job is too tough. There isn't a job that's too tough for me. Just Except eat to eat lemon peel. The one time that I was married to a real stubborn woman. <laughs> you cockroach. Now, now, Massacre, we can't allow for personal feelings. By the way, I'm sorry if this is a dub. I bought the DVD, and I didn't read the fine print. Don't worry. You'll get alimony soon. I don't think it's going to be all that soon. You ruined precious historical remains. They've reconsidered your sentence. I think you're going to be in here for a while. Ooh. Hey, wait a minute. Hold on. Wait. We can talk. Masako, hey. Hey, <laughs> just hold on a minute. Masako, wait. Masako. Masako. <laughs> so tell me, have they left for the island? Yes, they left from Bangkok. What do you think? Will they have any problems? Um. Of course not. Hesitated. I mean, having to work with her ex-husband and all. Oh, that would, that really was her ex-husband. I thought that was just, like, playful banter, but no, it really was... Okay, they really did have a relationship. Okay. Well, there have been some terrible changes in the climate recently, creating several large typhoons and severe rainstorms. Mm. I'm afraid it looks like we may be headed for doomsday. Oh, uh-oh. What about getting Godzilla to help? Godzilla? You found him! We found where the meteorite landed. It's right next to where Godzilla was sleeping. Think it is? He was resting deep in this ocean trench. Boy, what a day. Godzilla's at large once again. Damn, and I was four days from retirement. Ooh, what's going on here? Wait, I'm an idiot. That egg is Mothra. We're heading too far north by three degrees. Infant Island. It's like Skull Island, Infant Island. If he was still had that bearing, he would have ran into it anyway. Didn't really need the map. Yeah, I think they're filming on location. That looks too good to be a set to me. But what do I know? Okay, that looks like a set. <laughs> He's like, I was ill-equipped for this mission. I'm wearing a suit and a tie in the jungle. Oh. Oh my god. I wonder if there'll be another dinosaur on here. Men destroy what nature's been creating for billions of years. Yeah, I'm getting a climate change theme uh, prevalent throughout here. Hold on. Can this thing hold us? Huh? 
I see a lot of Indiana Jones references, or at least, like, homages. I feel like the director really liked Indiana Jones. It's no problem. Sure, I'll go. I like how he tied his suit as a, as a... I don't know what that is, but it's funny. It's all rickety, but it looks pretty solid. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh. This is your fault. What? I think you've gained weight. <laughs> Damn. No, he did not go there. We have to figure out what to do. I'm afraid we'll have to jump. I'm too afraid to jump. It's only like 20 feet. You got this. Go now, all right? Scum, you bastard. You're worse than I thought. <laughs> Watch, he goes up. Oh, okay. I thought he was going to be that asshole that goes up. Those are cool shots. I like those. Into crystal blue chlorinated water. Hey! Whoa! I'm rowing! Okay. Some misogynistic undertones in this movie, too. Yeah! <laughs> it's a nice little campsite, though. For you. Oh, is that their daughter? That was a nice moment. Hey! Wake up! Hey! There's a cave behind the waterfall! Oh, I thought that was a phone. I'm like, wait a minute. Gotta say the production value is amped up a little bit since the last film. Woo. Another Indiana Jones reference. Look at that! Wow. Have to get in there. Oh, I think he's just taking molecular what samples. What could it be? Okay. It's like some kind of eggshell. An egg this big? It's Mothra's egg. It belongs to Mothra. Are those fairies? <sighs> Over 12,000 years ago, there was a guardian of the earth named Mothra, and the cosmos was in perfect order. Okay. The Earth, Earth is a living being. It can also be offended. Well, we've been pissing Earth off recently. Oh, yes. So it created the Black Mothra. The Black Mothra? Yes, my friend. There was a fierce battle between Mothra and Batra. When Batra. Mothra finally won, Mothra, Mothra survived in the mountains along with us, the Earth cosmos. Men are endangering the planet in all sorts of ways. <laughs> Not only Mothra has awoken, we fear that the dreadful beast Batra has awoken somewhere too. Meanwhile, I feel like this is like uh, Walt Disney driving into uh, his uh, company when it, they were on strike back in 1941. Do you really think that it's okay to move it? It'll be better to preserve it in a stable environment. So since when did the Maritomo Company ever start caring about the environment? We will put our trust in what he says. We hope that humans don't make the same mistakes they did before. Oh, I feel like they're going to make plenty of mistakes. Also, we'll stay with you. So you'll go to Japan. Do they, they always, always speak in unison? What do you think it is? Godzilla. Batra. Oh, no. Woo. Here we go. I like how it bounced off the water. That was cool. Looks like a dragon. Oh, that thing looks gnarly. Damn, right into the cliff. The strange giant creature is now traveling like a mole underground. He is heading in a southerly oh, direction. Oh, so Batra can come up anywhere. Ooh, like no tremors. No one as yet seems to know where this creature has come from or what it's capable of doing. <laughs> oh, man. You know, I never... I am never not amazed by the creature designs. Construction looks better too. Here come the tanks. I'm hearing like a lot of overlap of the, the people screaming and it's kind of annoying. Once again, indestructible. Okay, I was wondering what type of defenses or offenses it had. 
so it could charge up with its horn. More of those things. No! <laughs> Damn. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just... That's... It's really getting to me. <laughs> That was a really cool explosion, how all the windows popped out. It's gonna burrow underground again. That's scary, because in the last movie, King Ghidorah could just take to the air anywhere. In this one, Batra can go anywhere underground. I think that's even scarier, because you never know when it will pop out. Do they have seismometers that can measure it's where big. the creature Something is? Something big's approaching. That captain looks familiar. Here he comes. <laughs> it always puts a smile on my face. And his too. Oh, the egg is cracking. I'm gonna let the egg go. It's holding us back. My boss ordered me to get that egg back to Japan. You're not gonna you get back. Bitch. I knew you weren't doing Godzilla. this for a good cause. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, whoa, is he gonna try to throw him overboard? Dude, that escalated really too... really quickly. They had to have choreographed that well, because that is a real ship. It's like all metal and swirling around on it must hurt. Now in Godzilla King of the Monsters, which was my personal introduction to Mothra, they were somewhat allies. Are they going to be allies here or, or antagonists at first? That looks creepy. I was expecting it. She is just like a little. Yeah, she hasn't fully formed yet. Okay. I'm, I'm glad she escaped. So, yeah, they are enemies for now. Oh, she got him right in the tail. <laughs> Spring water on. Is it like a freezing spray or something? Ooh. Man, she's just getting flung. Oh, man. Oh, no, they're getting pissed off. You think? <laughs> Godzilla's not having it right now, dude. Well, it was the right decision to let the, the tugboat go. Or the barge, whatever it is. Oh. Ah. Don't like that. Yeah, there we go. Use more of that. You know, I don't think I've seen an underwater fight in the Hasai era yet. This is cool. Can't make out with much of what's going on. Oh, did they unearth like an underwater, like a volcano or something? It looks like a large volcanic eruption. That answers that. Okay. Oh. I mean, they're continuing on with the theme that, you know, man's destroying the Earth, so the Earth is fighting back, and nature ultimately wins in all those battles. They're gone. Oh, they fell into it. Holy Both shit. Batra and Godzilla? No more signs of life, sir. Then the volcano must have gotten them both. I shocked you, but what's he yawning? Are they sleeping in a coat pocket? That's funny. It's a good thing that we lost the egg, don't you think? <sighs> One can never tell what the Maratoma Company would have ended up doing with it. That is true. I'm pretty sure they just wanted to use it to make money for themselves. That's the first time we've agreed on anything. <laughs> Godzilla and Batra are suddenly both gone for good now. I was so young at the time, and so naive. Yes, I was too. That's why. Why what? Why it didn't work out. That's why I should have done things differently. 
if I'd known. Mm. We can't stay happy inside an egg forever. That's right. Perhaps we should take Mother as an example. Yes, let's have a drink. Of all the the subplots in these movies with like the love interest, I think I like this one the best. I can't find the cosmos. They've disappeared. Ando. Oh, he took them. This is fantastic. He's gonna exploit them? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They trusted you. You need worry. You'll be paid generously. We must prepare a nice place for them. A toy shop. Buy them the very best. I want them happy. Create like a dollhouse for them. How patronizing. What's your big hurry anyway, huh? Well, if you would just think about it for a minute, what if Mothra comes to try and save the cosmos? That'd be terrible indeed. The to try to protect the environment. Yes. Now, okay. the only thing the great Maratomo company is doing is helping to destroy it. Midori, I'm back. Oh, Hi. that's his, that's their daughter. Welcome back, Mommy. Has my girl been good? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to Mount Fuji. I'll be working in the observatory there. The meteorite has destabilized a large fault there. Mm, that explains the volcanic uh, fissure underground. Or Where's water. Daddy, Mommy? Disappeared. He's your daughter, dude. No, he just leaves? I'm not gonna lie, I kinda got a little chill from that. Yet another terrible disaster. Mothra is different than Batra. It's coming to save us from disaster. It's coming for the I don't cosmos. care what you say. That thing's big enough to destroy a whole city. It has to be stopped. Misogynistic undertone. Don't listen to the woman in the room who's the smartest in the room. We must get the cosmos back into our possession. Only they can tell Mothra not to attack. We must kill Mothra. We must send in all the armed forces. Going after the wrong... Going after the wrong kaiju, my friends. That's a cool shot. Oh, she got wounded. Oh, shit. Oh, I hope she can fly out of there. The power of the cosmos. I love that song. Oh, okay. So it just took out a destroyer. All right. But then again, it, the ships did try to kill her, so... I can hear it. Their song. It's close. I always forget she has, like, telekinetic powers. Okay. I thought Mothra wouldn't do so much collateral damage or destruction, but... Stand for it. She's coming to protect us, but yet, at the same time, destroying buildings. I don't... I don't get that. But maybe I'm... maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she's taking it out on all humans, that all humans are the threat. So... It's protecting the Earth and the cosmos from the humans, so maybe that's why she's attacking. It's our fault, sir. We brought that monster here. That's ridiculous, you fool! Go on! I like the sound design. I don't talk too much about the sound design in these movies. It's doing well. Hi! Hey! How are you, Daddy? Hey. I'm ashamed of you. Daddy, you really shouldn't keep the cosmos. You should return them. How does she know about the cosmos? Please don't steal any more, Daddy, because I don't want to be a thief's daughter. I didn't oh. tell her. She just knows. She's a smart girl. Apparently, if she knows who the Cosmos are. Ah! Oh, man. Ah! Wait, why would Mothra destroy the building if Mothra knows the Cosmos are in there? Please tell Mothra to stop, otherwise he's gonna kill so many people. If you do, I'll tell my daddy not to steal anymore, and I'll make him get oh. a real job. We understand. Please, don't cry, little one. Take us outside. We have to go somewhere that Mothra can see us. Wait a minute, so is Mothra not a her? I'm gonna look this up. Because if I recall correctly, I thought 
King of the Monsters, it was a her. But it may be that version of it, so I don't know. Let me look it up. Okay, so Mothra has appeared in several Toho... You know, I just realized that the Toho Lego... <laughs> The Toho logo didn't appear at the, the beginning of this. Maybe it's at the end. Recurring character in the Godzilla franchise. She is typically portrayed as a colossal sentient larvae. That's how she looked at the original 1961 film, which I have not seen. So, And that is cool because that looks like the painting in the cave. So I think it was just a callback there. Mothra is one of Toho's po most popular monsters, second only to Godzilla. Polls taken during the early 90s indicate that Mothra is particularly popular, popular among women who were, at the time, the largest demographic among Japanese movie-going audiences, a fact that prompted the filming of 1992's Go Godzilla vs. Mothra. Interesting. Mothra, we're here and we're all right. Don't hurt any more people. Do you understand? Fire. I know that's meant to be heartfelt, but it, it was it was a funny cut. That's a cool tracking shot for a miniature and a composition with live action. This is cool. It's been a minute since we've seen Godzilla or Batra. They're bound to come back any minute now. Where is it going? I just realized this is Godzilla versus Mothra. And I was asking earlier if they were going to fight each other or are they going to be friends. The pressure of the magma has risen significantly. This is urgent. In an there hour. There we go. Any minute go now. I knew it. I want this entire area evacuated. Oh, it just dies right on the city hall. Kind of reminds me of Shin Godzilla, where he just kind of takes a nap up against the uh, the building. Mothra's not dying. This is just the end of its larval stage. Its larval stage? I feel like that would have been better as a reveal than telling us straight on, but I'm okay with it. The music in this is really well done. It's quite the web. The they got the cosmos in that basket! Yeah, Get them back! The cosmos are special. The they can control Mothra. If you try to take him back again, you'll be sorry. Mothra will surely there you come go. to get Stand us. up for yourself. You'll completely destroy the Marutomo company. No, You're crazy! You're a fool! <laughs> you are... I thought he was going to get fired there on the spot. Way to stand up for himself, though. Goes. Oh shit! Hurry, yes, sir. Well, not okay, but I mean, like alive. <laughs> First the island in the south. Now Mount Fuji. Not fair. Why should I suffer more than anyone else? Is my gosh, dude! So self-absorbed. The Earth is getting its revenge. Yep. You're fired. Get out! This company helped to destroy the Earth. Now it's getting its revenge! Nice and taut and well acted. The Earth wants its revenge, does it? Fine with me! Well, his I don't acting care! is kind of flamboyant. I don't care. I don't care! I feel like the production of this film is way less campy than the last one, despite the fact that, you know, there's a giant egg and little people. Is that... No, I shouldn't say that. Ferret, no. Okay, you think a volcano is going to stop him? Yeah, they've definitely improved their uh, computer technology. I guess another callback to the original with the power lines. Cool transition. I like that. He swam from the Pacific Ocean all the way up to Mount Fuji. That's impossible. This is beyond our present knowledge or understanding. Yeah, but I'll take it. <laughs> Where's Batra is what I want to know. I like how the computer is very specific that I was going to take out that type of power line. General, Godzilla is back. Godzilla. Such dreamy music. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that looks way better than a larvae. Spread your wings and fly, girl. Nice. 
<laughs> Can they hear them sing? I know that's her mouth, so to speak, but it looked like a face and it was creepy. That's so cool and so amazing. It looks like it has like a mustache, but it's just orange. Okay, that transformation was way more hellish. We're gonna try and change Godzilla's direction. Just maybe we can get him back into the sea. Y'all done. Bye. Oh, they got like Super X3s now? Oh no, those are just... those look like Cobras. Like nothing ever hurts him. I feel like he's in constant pain regardless, but I don't ever see any like noticeable wounds on him. That's a big explosion. I think with all the monsters around, they wouldn't have issued a warning for uh, everyone to get underground. Godzilla is approaching Yokohama. The entire city must be evacuated. Oh, Please leave in an right. orderly and efficient manner. You know, I like her simplistic design here better than uh, Godzilla King of the Monsters. Oh no! Well, what could possibly stop all of them? Why are you all standing around just gawking? Bam! A lot of flashes. Whoa, that's neat. Uh, don't take out the bridge, no! Oh, it was full of traffic a second ago, but okay. <gasps> oh no! Yeah, the model is more elaborate this go-around, too. I wonder if they made it easier for the actor in the suit to be, you know, not dying all the time, like, inside of it. Whew. Oh, watch out! Yeah, kick him while he's down with more of your... Horn lasers. My lips are chapped. Yeah, get him. I swam through a volcano, bitch. I think I could survive a building. Woo! Right in the face. Here you go, Mothra. Come on, girl. That's a cool shot. She's still going after him? Well, I guess he wasn't, like, trying to save her or anything. That building's gone, dude. I feel like that Ferris wheel's gonna come down, too. What, does she feel sorry for him? Mahala. She's putting him away, again, for the next 15,000 years. Uh, you're like, oh, Godzilla. Way to ruin the fun. Oh, that's stomping. So effective. I need to find better adjectives when I describe things that happen on screen. The author's like, not now! Oh, oh she's gonna use more magic glitter. Godzilla seems blinded by that. It looks like he's been brought under control. <laughs> Wait, she can control Godzilla's mind? Or minds if the tail has a brain? I don't know what just happened, but I knew that Ferris wheel was coming down. No! Mother! Oh, Batra saved her. Wow, so he's under her spell now. 
Matra, thanks for saving Matra. Matra saved Matra. They've become friends. Uh, I see that. Yeah. <laughs> well, one of the... <laughs> it still landed on her. He's like, oh, sorry about that. Someone had to intricately make all the separate little carriages for that Ferris wheel. Wow, so much detail. It's really neat. I'm actually interested in how they filmed this part. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, that's cool. Jeez. Now they're both ganging up on him. That iconic roar. trying to control him again. This is insane. Godzilla doesn't look like he's putting up much of a fight. I feel like he's met his match finally. That's good. Batra and Mothra are joining forces against him. Together they can beat Godzilla. I get it. Is Godzilla losing this movie? Mothra wins? Damn! He did go down! Ah, they won! I mean, he's not dead, but I'm still kind of in awe that he was basically just ganged up on and he lost. It seems as though they're communicating. Yeah. Yeah, I get that vibe too. Oh! Ah! Oh, he just chomped into him! Oh! Use the atomic breath inside the wound. You can do it! Wait, what? Sh oh, they're both carrying him, okay. Where are they gonna drop him, though? In the water? I was wondering if he was gonna strike back. Batra's dead, damn. Lights went out, literally. It's in a shockwave. She wins. Mother Nature and Mother Mothra prevailed. I don't know if Mother's appropriate for Mothra, but whatever. Like an angel that has ascended from the heavens. What's that? There's going to be a huge meteorite in 1999. Tell us, this meteorite, will it completely destroy the planet? It, it will. will! Didn't Armageddon come out in 1999? The large meteorite is presently on its course to Earth. Mothra will fly out and try to change its course before it reaches here. Yeah, the music in this is probably my favorite. Please remember what Mothra did for you and the planet you live on. We will. We are indebted to Mothra. But until that time, we must take good care of the world ourselves. <laughs> are they going to be a family again? I'm all for this happy ending. Aw. There we go. I like that. That's a nice resolution. Where she grabs his hand and he puts his arm around her shoulder. Means that they're a thing again, or a couple, or a family again. She's spreading all of her control dust onto the audience. That's cool. So, that was Godzilla vs. Mothra, or Godzilla and Mothra, the Battle for Earth. That was, I think better than the last one. I really enjoyed this one. I really liked Godzilla vs. Bialante, and then the last one was just so absurdly over the top and silly that I was having fun 
at the expense of the movie, not necessarily with the movie. But this one, I think, was a bit more grounded, despite, you know, what I... <laughs> some of the elements in the movie. But it, the editing was better, the production was better, the pacing was better. It didn't throw too much stuff at us. I could follow along perfectly the whole time. I liked the love subplot between the... Uh, I never remember the characters' names. And it was just... It was lovely. This... After Godzilla 1984 might be my favorite of the Hesai era. It might be. I really, really like that one. I think this is a, a solid contender for top five. Please let me know down in the comments what you thought of this film if you have seen it. If you like this video, please consider liking. And if you enjoy this type of content and this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. I, that'll do it for me. I <laughs> That'll do it for me, folks. Thank you so much for tempering your expectations with me. My name is Matt, and I will see you later.